in the last problem we found that after seven draws you have a 0.42 probability to have drawn a keeper and we did that by finding the probability of not drawing a keeper for each of your seven draws. Now we're going to look at a more efficient way of solving these types of problems by using combinatorics and the sample space method. So here is the problem. You're going second and it just hit turn seven so you've drawn 11 cards and you want to know the probability that you've drafted a flame strike by now and let's say you have two flame strikes in your deck. First you're going to want to calculate the sample space which is the total number of ways that you can draw 11 cards out of a deck of 30 cards. So the number of ways that you can draw 11 cards from a deck of 30 is 30 choose 11 because the order that you draw the cards in does not matter. All that matters is whether or not you've drawn a flame strike by now or not. Now similarly to last problem where we calculated the probability to not draw a keeper by turn 7, we're now going to look at the number of ways to not draft a flame strike after 11 draws. So if you imagine you have a deck now with the same exact composition, but it's missing the two flame strikes, you can look at the number of ways you could draft 11 cards from the deck without any flame strikes, and that'll give you the number of ways that you can draw 11 cards without drawing a single flame strike. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to pretend we have a deck now of 28 cards without any flame strikes, and choose 11 cards from that deck and look at the number of combinations we can make of 11 cards without drawing a single flame strike. And if you take the total number of ways you can draw 11 cards without drafting a single flame strike and divide that by the total number of ways you could draw 11 cards, then you will be given the probability of not drawing a single flame strike within those first 11 cards. And if you take 1 minus that probability, you'll find that you have a 0.61 probability to draw a flame strike after 11 cards being drawn. So don't be surprised if you get flame striked on turn 7. Next, I'll discuss a formula that makes calculating these probabilities even easier.